their campaigns to Mpumalanga today. Ramaphosa addressed the SACP Red October rally in Bombela, while Zamini Zuma addressed an ANC Women's League rally in Guamhlanga. As the second biggest voting bloc after Guazun Natal, Mpumalanga will have a huge influence at the ANC elective conference. 736 voting delegates will represent Mpumalanga. Mpumalanga, seen as the kingmaker, branches may have their say, but the province, led by David Mabuza, is yet to pronounce on its preferred candidate. It's Ramaphosa's second visit since launching his bid for the ANC top post. He again lambasted state capture and corruption at government institutions. Those who have stolen money, in fact, will give them a window. Maybe we have to set up a Truth and Reconciliation Commission so that those who come forward and tell the truth that they've stolen, we forgive them. But those who don't tell the truth will be sent to jail. He said the conference outcome should be accepted by all. I am prepared and willing to accept the decision of the majority of the delegates at the conference. If I do not succeed in the elections, I will humble myself. I will, with great humility, accept the results and the leadership that will come from the election that will have happened. Alliance partners also weighed in. The mandate from the workers is that all of them, including Jacob Zuma, they must go to jail for bringing our country to state to the distribute. Comrade, corruption in this country is led by one man, which is our president today, Comrade Jacob Zuma. This is about the future of the millions of South Africans. It's not about an individual. Do not sell your soul. Do not sell your country. Do not sell your people for a 5,000 rands. Expose these people who seek to turn our comrades into Judas Carriers. Dr. Lamini Zuma drummed up support in Wamhlanga. She was flanked by several members of the Mpumalanga ANC PEC and the Women's and Youth League leaders, among others. Dr. Lamini Zuma stressed the importance of unity in the province as well as in the party leading to the conference. Everything that we do, we must do it with calm, peace and unity because it will be important that the ANC that will emerge after the conference must be a united ANC that will be able to implement decisions that will be taken at the conference. We wish that after the conference, those who will win work with those who lost. The Women's League stressed the importance of party discipline. The Women's League in this province nominated Comrade Bosazan and Lamini Zuma uh, to stand for the position of the president. Mabuza didn't attend either of the events. He's been preaching unity, saying he doesn't want to be involved in slate politics. Mueli Maslela, SAPC News in Pumalanga.